Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barber Shop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another episode of 5 Easy Minutes, man. It's opening day out there in our baseball land. The national pastime is about to get kicked off. So, you know, we got five minutes on the clock. Three questions. Let's get it. First of all, who I think is going to take it all? Well, I mean, it's hard-pressed to say that the Yankees aren't going to take it all again. I know a lot of people are going to hate on it, but you know, it is what it is. The Yankees are, year in and year out, the favorite to take it. Now, do I wish my Braves would take it? Do I wish somebody like the uh, Phillies would take it? Do I wish somebody like the St. Louis Cardinals would take it? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I do. But I just know that the Yankees are, bar none, the team that always puts themselves in a good position to win it all from day one. Now, in the middle of the season, when some, you know, Jeter might get a little bit older, you know, A-Rod might, might stop hitting. You know, you, you just got all types of stuff that might happen. Then that's, and that you have to take that into account. But right now, you always have to look at what, what you know from top to bottom and, and how they have their hitting set up. The Yankees are the favorite to take it all. Now, that's just my opinion. You agree, you can even agree to disagree. Man, you can just outright disagree. So, you know, that is what it is. It's just funny that, uh, that they, I mean, it's just how they always set themselves up. They always make a lot of off-season moves. They pretty much buy it all. I know a lot of people are going to say that, well, you can win it all every year if you buy it all. I mean, of course, you're going to be the bottom. you damn right they are. This is like the New England Patriots of football, of baseball. They just, uh, they get everything. They get all the best players, and they start out from day one, so they are the favorite. Now, does that mean it's going to come to fruition? Hell no. They probably fall, collapse in the middle of the season like the Mets do every year. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. So, you know. Big up to NASA one because, you know, he always, he loved the Yankees. He's a, he's a New Yorker to the core. You know, New Yorkers think they're the best people on the planet. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, baby. You know, that's what they say. But, uh, you know, that's that question. Now, who is my team? Uh, the Atlanta Braves. I'm, I'm an Atlanta fan to the core, man. You know, I, I have never, I, I used to like the, uh, I used to like Darren Williams. So, that's the only team outside of Atlanta. Well, I used to like Reggie Miller. So I liked the uh, Pacers for a long time, from 87 until he, he to retired in like 2001, 2002. Um, I liked uh, the, the new, uh, I want to call it the New Orleans Jazz, the, uh, the Utah Jazz for a while when uh, Darren Williams was there and he left, so I don't like them. So now I just like the uh, all my Atlanta teams, man. Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Braves, man. I've been a Braves fan since Sid Breen, since uh, Frank Cabrera hit the only hit of his life. And brought Sid Breen, man. It was Brett Breen comes around third. Oh my God, he's so damn slow. Braves win. Braves win. You know, I've been I've been a fan since that. So, um, yeah, but since before that, man, so I've been a fan since Dale Murphy was there. Oh my God. I mean, I've been a fan all my life of the Atlanta Braves. So this is opening day. We got the Washington Nationals. We'll probably blow it because we never we hardly ever win on uh, opening day anyway. So you know, we don't open until uh, another week or so. So you know, I have that. I'm probably gonna be at that game. When we open, I plan on going to a lot of games this season, so you know, it is what it is. So hopefully we can, um, hopefully I can get y'all some footage, not of the actual game, but of me being at the game. So that'll be good. And um, you know, my third question: Why the hell don't these people leave Barry Bonds alone? This shit is like ten years old, and y'all still trying to indict this dude. Look. His homeboy, y'all keep putting his homeboy in and out of jail. Y'all have maxed out the amounts of times that y'all can do that. I mean, it's like, what, the first time they can hold you for six months if you don't talk. The second time they can hold you for, like, a year. And then the third time they can hold you for, like, 18 months. The dude has done, like, like a five-year bid messing with y'all. I know those numbers don't add up, but I'm just being I'm being facetious right here. The dude has done, like, a five-year bid messing with y'all, man. Y'all still ain't got no dirt on Barry. Ain't nobody telling. Leave Barry alone. Yeah, he probably was taking the cream in the clear. Yeah, his cranium grew like 18 inches and he started looking like a damn human jawbreaker after after uh, he started taking it. But you can't prove it. That's not proof. A man getting a big-ass head ain't proof. I mean, what what about you got cats out there taking extends? They head getting bigger, so what? Leave that dude alone. You're never going to catch him. You ain't got nothing on I know, baby. I'm sorry. You ain't got nothing on him. Nobody's going to snitch. He done paid everybody off. He ain't broke. If y'all damn keep on, he gonna pay somebody else. Just leave him alone. Yeah, he did it. It's just like OJ. Eventually, they'll get him if he did it. So, so just let that shit go. And you know, we're not even gonna talk about OJ Simpson. Don't fill my comments up talking about OJ. OJ did it. No, I don't wanna hear that shit. But like, it didn't fit. It must have quit. Yeah, exactly. It bridge some about It didn't. If it didn't fit, it you must have quit. And you see, Johnny Cochran and damn took that to his grave. So you know, it is what it is. But like I said, man, yo, um, let Barry alone. 
Uh, my team is the Braves, and, uh, you know, my odds on favor to win it this year. You always have to say Yankees day one. Now, you can change that, or y'all can tell me who y'all's team is. And I know I said the Philadelphia 76ers weren't going to the playoffs. What I meant was they'll be in the playoffs. They ass going to get knocked out in the first round. I don't see how to, this, this weak-ass East, man. They gonna have, they they can very well have a losing season. Somebody's gonna get into the playoffs in the East with a losing damn season. You can mark my words on that one. But you know that's all the time I got for today, man. I gotta get out of here and get to work. Uh, y'all let me know in the comments who your baseball team is and um who you think is gonna win it all this year. And uh you know uh and and do y'all think they ever gonna catch Barry Bonds? Tell me that. I don't think they ever gonna catch him. Ain't nobody telling. Let the man alone, man. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BKA the People's Champ in this small pocket. Holla! Hey, I got a uh, Jay Easy 365. It's gonna be coming up in about uh, uh, three hours or two hours or something like that, man. Around about 3 p.m. And we're talking about some giveaways, so y'all don't wanna miss that. Y'all check that out, man. And I'm out. Peace. 360 out this motherfucker.